Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the Brevo email marketing automation. So first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser, then using the search bar at the top, we just have to type out brevo.com and then we'd be directed to this page okay so you can also type out brevo and then you'd be able to see this first website so you just have to click on it and then it'd be directed to this page so once you're here all you have to do is to simply um sign up for an account but before that let's go to the pricing section first so right here as you can see they have a free plan okay so if you're just someone you know just starting your business so you can go ahead and sign up for free but if you have a business already so you can sign up for the starting plan okay so when you scroll down you have here the overview of this product so let's sign up now for free then right here, you can go ahead and continue with your Google or continue with your Apple. You can also type right here, email as well as your password. So after that, you'd be directed to your homepage. So once you're here, all you have to do is to simply click on the um, automation section at the left side of your screen. So right here, before that, we have here the features so we can create a campaign. Um, simplify your connections add contacts and then manage your plan okay so right here let's go to the campaign section first okay then we'd be directed to our dashboard so you can create a campaign here if you want to we also have here the email sms campaign a whatsapp campaign a web push campaign facebook ads campaign templates statistics and then your settings and now let's proceed to the automation section so when you click on the automations okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and then right here we just have to create a new one so as you can see i have an existing automations right here so we're just going to create a new one so just click on this create a new automation at the top right of your screen okay and then if you would like to create a template so you just have to go to the template section as well so now let's go back to the automation okay now just click on this create an automation okay and then right here you have the most popular category so abundant card marketing activity product purchase anniversary date and then the welcome message okay so we also have here improve engagement to be specific we have the welcome message website event marketing activity for the increased traffic, marketing activity, page visit, website event, and then the transactional activity. For the increased revenue, we have the abandoned card, website event, product purchase, page visit, and then the marketing activity. And then the last one is the build relationship category. We have the welcome message, uh, marketing activity, as well as the anniversary date. So when you go to the all category, we have here all of those. Okay, so for this one, we are going to use the classic editor or basically we are going to start from scratch. Okay, so you just have to click on this one. Now right here, we just have to name our automation. So just type it right here. So for example, this is just an example. Okay, so I'm just going to name this one as guide video. Okay, and then for the description, you just have to type out right here any words. Okay, so I'm just going to type out simple guide. And then if you would like to allow your contacts to enter the automation more than once, so you can do that as well. Now just click on the create automation at the bottom right of your screen. So now just wait for a couple of seconds and then right here, we have to add our entry point. Okay, so this is a very important part of this automation because this would be the trigger of our workflow. Okay, here you just have to select an entry point to your workflow. So for example, for the email activity, we have the contact details, a con when a contact submits a form, an event happen, or website activity. Okay, so for this one, I am going to choose the uh, a contact submits a form. So I think we have to create a new form here so i'm just going to leave this one so let's go with the email activity so right here we just have to click on the email marketing activity option so when you clicked on it 
it be redirected to this page. So what you're going to do here, start this workflow when one of your contacts opened. So I'm going to select the guide video. Okay, so this one, I mean the guide. And then for the click section, so if you would like to include this one, so just have to click on the circular icon and then just click on next or save. And then right here, if you would like to create another entry point on the other side, so you can do that as well. So you just have to do the same. And then the next one is we are going to add a step to our workflow. So for example, we would like to add a condition. So I would like to add a delay. So contacts will wait for, for example, days. So I'm just going to uh, put here one and then just click on OK. So before the contacts receive uh, the next process, they have to wait for a day. So it will depend on your conditions. And then the next one, I mean the next step for our workflow. So just remember, we can add anything that we want over here. Okay, so we can go ahead and select the send an SMS, add a new email. Okay, so for example, send an email. So I'm going to um, select this existing one. And then if you would like to send a hidden copy of this email, so you can click on the box. And then if you would like to choose when to send this email or use my event data to customize the email. After that, just have to click on OK. And then the next one is you just have to add a step to your workflow. OK, so it all depends on you if how many steps. So I think this would be the last step for this workflow. Okay, so I think we are going to um, add perform a CRM action. And then we can choose create a deal, create a task, or assign a user to the contact. Okay, and then if you would like to add a condition before that, so you can do that as well. Okay, so for example, we can create a deal. Then right here, we can add the prefix to deal name. For example, video. And then for the pipeline, and then the deal stage, if this is the qualifying stage. And then if you'd like to add a follow-up task, so create a to-do task assigned to the contact owner to follow up on this deal. So you can check this box. And then after that, you just have to click on OK. OK, and then after that, you just have to click on Activate Automation, this one at the top right of your screen. Okay, so you just have to finalize your workflow and then you just have to activate it. So that's it for this video. If you think this video helped you solve your concern, please subscribe, like this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!